Boom, we're back in Puerto Rico. First day, Dave, Jordan, Johnny, they flew in the first day, which was Sunday. We had Fico Jaria with us. We knew we had to pick up Felix and Diego at 12. I felt incomplete until we all got together. I didn't think anyone really intentionally meant to film. And there we just kind of went to warm up. And we ended up staying there for like four hours and just had a good time. super early to try to make the most of the day. We ended up driving uh, past this pretty legendary 12 stair rail. We actually just pulled in there so I can go over to the auto parts store to get steering wheel fluid because for some reason the van doesn't keep the steering wheel fluid. It eventually just leaks it out so it makes it really hard to drive the van. As I walk back I look over and I see that everybody's getting the 12 stair and I was like there's no way I'm gonna miss out on this session. Ray's tying his shoe super tight and I'm looking at him like, what's he doing? And he looks over to me, he's just like, I'm gonna caveman the rail. And I'm like, kind of looked at him like, hey, if you're hyped and you feeling it, you know, go for it, you know? The first three he has pretty perfect. He's like on top of it. You know, he caveman kind of leans back a little bit, slips out, kind of a little scary. We're like, oh, but he got it because he already slid too perfect, you know? And then next thing you know it, he just jumps on the rail leans back and we're like kind of a little work is for that split second you kind of like and then boom he like as he's leaning back he falls back on his foot and you just hear a pop noise. No way. Must be that man. Oh shit. Grabbing his leg and he told us he broke his leg. Uh, we just sat there and tried to make him as comfortable as possible and then the ambulance came 
I took him away. It's just sad, you know, it's like the first actual day and we had a demo at his skate park in four hours. So it made it really difficult for us to kind of like stay hyped, but then we realized that we had to stay hyped for him. So that kind of motivated us to keep the day going. I had to man up and drive the van. Then we went straight to the demo in Naguabo. They call it uh, Nagua Barracks. As soon as everyone entered the doorway, it was non-stop skating. <laughs> So after the demo, we did what we always do. I ate Pasti Pueblo, which is the best pasta I've ever had in my life. Um, thank you, Freddie, for always hooking it up. Jessica, you guys are awesome. Wednesday we woke up, we knew that we had to get one good solid day of street skating. There's this one hubba that Felix has been battling in Coamo. We get there, it's a little damp, not too bad, so we just kind of waited out. You have Felix going this way, you have Jordan Hoffer going this way. Oh, man, it was a good session. Like an hour go by, everyone's chilling. Rio did 5-0, that was the first time he's ever 5-0'd it, so he did it so easy, the 5-0 was so buttery, like got on really slow, grinded, chilling, popped out, just, it, it looked like he could, he's done it a million times. I was like, oh, do 5-0, 180, because I know he could do those tricks. So he's like, yeah, I'm gonna do it right here. He rolls up, 5-0s, because I think he got a little scared, when he got into the 5-0, he got stuck. So it threw him the opposite way, he started to fall backwards, at that point, he was holding his arm, and I looked at his arm, and he broke his arm. His dad ran over, Freddie's, he's like, he's like, I broke my wrist, and Freddie's like, just calm down. He calmed down, he didn't freak out. For a, you know, 13-year-old kid, you break your arm, and you don't even care about your arm, you just, you care about the fact that you can't continue on the skate trip. You know, he's really brave, and, um, you know, I wish him nothing but the best, a speedy recovery. Two locals broke two bones in two days, Thursday comes around, we have another demo in Sanghen Mine, which is west of the island. So we get this one big mound, we're going, we're trucking all the way up. The van starts smoking. Pull off the road, park, the van starts really smoking. Everyone runs out of the van. I'm like, this is not a movie. Cars don't blow up, kids, you know? So if, they, if you see a smoke come out of a car, it's not gonna blow up. Once again, two hours of nonstop skating.
Friday was probably the most fun I've had on the trip because it brought me back to when I used to skate around Lowell with Dave and everybody. We just didn't even get in the van. We just really, we were like, let's skate around Ponce and see what we can find. We ended up skating around this, the town for like four hours just getting tricks. And we didn't even know, we were just going aimlessly, like, oh, let's go here, and we would find spots. And I remember getting to this one like curb cut bump to flat, where it's just a little bump to the, to the street, which is super cool, but the street was super busy. We got there, instantly Diego, the switch tray. I remember one time Fico was skating, he was so hyped. Fico ollied onto the curb, front big spin, and almost chest dove into a truck. But it didn't stop us, we just kept skating. I don't know, I was like so happy that I didn't care about the cars, I didn't care about falling. I was just like, oh, I'm just gonna try this. And I don't know, I think it was like three tries, and I don't know, back to 80 lay flip. Second one I've ever done, last one was like 10 years ago. Hey. Tal Barbie, you're back 180. Boy, got it. So we wake up super early, Saturday, the whole reasoning why we're all here. Third annual Fridge Puerto Rico in Ponce. It's, just, it's here, the day's finally come. We get there like 10, 30, they start setting everything up, bring the boxes out, the tent, the banners, the food trucks came. You start to see it filling up. All the skaters were coming in slowly, but sure, they were all coming in. 12 o'clock rolled around, we had all the little kids sign up, which they're called the Koki, which is the frog of PR. I thought it was really important to get the, the little kids to skate because that is the future of the skate scene in PR, so we have to bring awareness to that. This one little kid, Goldo, who is like the littlest, but the biggest kid there, because he like tries anything. So even at one point he got sacked on the rail, he just kept skating, he didn't even care. So he killed it, he got third place. Jamal, who's um, the local, was just kicked from front board, the bump to flat bar. Uh, boards at the rail. He ended up with second, he made me super proud. Then this kid Felipe who had just met, he was killing it and then out of nowhere, pressure flipped the nine stair. That was the winning factor for him to win. Congratulations to the top three guys, Goldo, Joman, and Felipe, you guys killed it, you guys made me super proud. I'm, I'm hyped to see the progression of skating in the island for all the little kids and then the real contest started. Prince of Puerto Rico finals! Aquí en Ponce, 3, 2, 1, nos fuimos, 2,000 billetes en la línea.
We want to thank the Sheckler Foundation. And of course, Manny Santiago. Todo el mundo un aplauso para Manny. Best trick in the finals. Fito Lumen from Kispi from Florida. Decide a Puerto Rico, José Chiqui Colón. Un aplauso para Chiqui. Yo quiero que ustedes me den una bulla. Ricardo. Ustedes lo dijeron, Yariel Merengue, segundo lugar, Carlos Padilla. Can't wait for the fourth annual Prince of Puerto Rico. We don't know where the next one's gonna be. We don't know who's coming on the trip, but what we do know is there is gonna be fourth Prince of Puerto Rico, so stay tuned to MannySlaysAll.com throughout the year to find out where it's gonna be. Peace!